first lady did not shade Duchess Meghan Markle. The first lady of Nigeria did not. That's a lie. We must take it for what it is. She absolutely did not. So recent media reports suggesting tension between the first lady of Nigeria and Meghan Markle, the Duchess of Sussex, are unfounded and misleading. Contrary to these speculative narratives, these, there has been no indication of any anim animosity or negativity um, sentiment from the First Lady towards Meghan. In fact, Meghan Markle has been widely celebrated as a symbol of pride and cultural appreciation in Nigeria. During Meghan's and Harry's um, recent trip to Nigeria, their engagement with local communities and cultural initiatives was met with enthusiasm and warmth. Megan's respect and admiration for Nigerian culture have been evident through her actions and words, fostering a positive connection between her and the people of Nigeria. The First Lady, known for her advocacy and support of cultural heritage, would naturally align with Megan's effort to highlight and respect Nigerian traditions. Megan Markle's visit to Nigeria was marked by her genuine interest in understanding and promoting the country's rich cultural tapestry. From her participation in local events to her heartfelt interactions with community members, Megan demonstrated a deep appreciation for Nigerian culture, which has resonated with many. The narrative of discord is not only baseless, but attracts from positive impact of her visit. And I'm going to play your video what the Nigerian um, um, lady said, the first lady said, where she was just speaking about Nigerian women in general and how they're dressing. She's saying that they must dress more modestly. And, you know, so at no point did she reference and she was even highlighting that, look, Megan came here, Megan came to Nigeria. She wasn't saying anything negative. You know, these people are always just trying to pick some gotcha moment or some statement to malign Megan as per usual. It's getting tiring, it's boring, it's getting exhaustive and they need to stop it. So everything is an issue with them. Everything becomes an issue once it has to do with Megan, right? The moment you can see what they showcase on the stage, I said, we are fashionable. We see what is going on. You know, we are not having a Met Gala. And everyone, their nakedness is just everywhere. And the men are well clothed. So we have to do something. Tell them the way it is. We don't accept nakedness in our culture. They, that, that is not beautiful. It's not beautiful at all. Why did uh, Megan come here looking for Africa? That is something we have to take home with. We know who we are and don't lose who you are. It is essential to recognize Megan Markle's role as a bridge between cultures, using her platform to celebrate diversity and promote understanding. Her visit to Nigeria should be seen as a testament to her commitment to global cultural appreciation and solidarity. The outpouring of support from Nigerians, including influ influential figures and everyday citizens, underscore the positive reception and the shared pride of cultural exchange. Um, so lastly, we're going to talk about Megan has been a symbol of pride for Nigeria. We know this. We know it was a good and resounding successful um, tour. People loved her being there. People loved them being there. Highlighting the country's vibrant culture on an international stage. And she did bring a lot of this to the forefront, right? Um, a lot of people are like talking, um, the British press were talking a lot of bad stuff about Nigeria, but it's really only because they don't like Harry and Meghan and they're just so predictable. It's not funny. The First Lady's lack of any public shade towards Meghan reinforces the idea that these stories are merely attempts to fabricate drama where none exists. Let us celebrate the positive cultural connections forged during Megan's visit and continue to appreciate the bridges built between different communities.
So, guys, this is a non-story. It has nothing to do with Megan. She was not talking about Megan. She was just talking about the Nigerian women in general and how she would like them to, you know, conduct themselves and everything. So, I don't know how Megan got involved in this. But, as usual, that is how the British press operates. They are very soap operas. They love the drama and they love to create a lot of unnecessary all right so bye guys please don't forget to like subscribe turn on your notification bell so you never miss a beat bye